Hello and welcome to another video from JoomDev. My name is Jaden and this is one of many tutorials for our JD Builder tutorial series. In this video, we'll look at creating an accordion or adding an accordion element to your JD Builder page. Let's go ahead and add one real quick. All right, and we'll select accordion here. We'll go through all the options and see what they do. In the basic, we have the admin label. This helps us identify the accordion in the back end. So we'll just put uh, accordion. And the accordion items are really just all the items that exist in the accordion. So we can add a few more items if we want to. So I'll go ahead and add two items. To reorder an item, just hold it and move it up and down. To delete an item, use the delete item button. And to duplicate, you can use the duplicate button. So those are really simple controls. Within an item, you have an option for an item title. And this one will say, you know, YouTube. You can also select an item icon if you like. So we'll just select the YouTube icon. And then whatever content you type here would appear for the item. So we'll say YouTube content goes here. And we'll bold it. We have this simple WYSIWYG editor that works well. I will right, go ahead and close this. We'll just delete the rest of the items and duplicate it just so we have a few items with a, an icon. And very quickly what I'll do is go ahead and align this to the left just so it looks better. So in the typography, I'll go ahead and align it to the left. All right, back to the items. Now, so you have seen the item controls, the individual item and how to add items. The collapsible, what this means is all items to be closed at any given point of time. So if this is on, I can close the very first item as well. And you know, if first active is off, that means all items will be closed. If this is off, one item must say open or one accordion must stay open at any given point of time. And if you check multiple, that means multiple accordions can be opened at the same time. So one opening one would not close the other one automatically. And then if you click select open all, that means all accordion slides would be open by default. And obviously if the user wants that the user can close them. So that's how the these controls work. Let's look into individual item options. The gap is the spacing between the items. So right now it's 10 pixels. We'll change it to 50. You'll see what this looks like. So this is just a spacing between the individual items. You'll see how big this gets. And there you go. The border is the border of the item. So you can change this to dashed or solid or, you know, from, from four different border types, you can select the one you like. The border weight is the depth or the weight of the border. So right now it's one pixel, so you can make it two pixels. Now these controls can be too much for some people, but these really give you a lot of control over what you, you know, or what you want to do of creating the best accordion that you, you like. So these controls are handy just to get you control over each and every aspect of the accordion. The border color and hover color and active color are really just colors for the accordion itself. So by default, every accordion will have this color. We'll call it blue. The hover is the mouse over. When you mouse over, they'll turn green. And the whichever one's active or open will turn red. So well, in this case, all will turn red because we have open all. So we'll turn this off and then look at it. Okay, so now you can see the border color is blue. Mouse over is green and the red is the active one. Now border radius lets you have rounded edges so you can turn it to like four or five pixels and you'll have nice and smooth rounded edges for your accordions. The box shadow lets you have a shadow. Now if you do want a shadow you can create one or customize. This is the actual CSS value that's been created so you can work these numbers out, create a better one if you like or and select a different shadow color if you want to. So totally customizable as far as what you want to do. We don't need a shadow, so I'm gonna remove this. Going back to, let me just remove the shadow. And there you go. Going back to item title options. So item title is what appears here. 
So you have an option to select the tag for the title and that would eventually obviously make it bigger if it's an H1, if it's a paragraph, it'll be much smaller and all of that stuff, depending on how you have your font sizes set up. You can also control the color of the title. So let's say I wanna have my titles in white, but I wanna change the background to black. And this would be the opposite. So the color to black and background to white. You know, so you can see, kind of see what this would look like. Yeah, there you go. So that looks really good. You know, you, you have control over everything basically. And then you have the title typography. You can change the font size, font family, element, everything. So these are not individual slides. This is controls you have over everything. Then you have the border type. This is for the title itself. So this is the title and this is the content. So initially when we were working the border, that was the border for the whole slide itself. This is for the title. Title by default does not have a border. If I add one, you'll see it'll add it to our full sites, which kind of look weird. So what you want to do is unlock this and only add a border to the bottom because that's what will look good. So uh, let me just change this and yeah, that look good. So now we only have a border towards the bottom and not all sides. And with rounded edges, that kind of looks weird. So if you do turn off the rounded edges, you will see they look much better. There you go. So you can have a black border for the title and then, you know, other borders for other, uh, for the rest of the full slide. And then here you have the border color and mouse over color and active color. You can play with these colors just as we did for the individual slide colors above. All right, moving on to item content options. The content options have same options. So you can set a color for the content that would appear in and then set a background color as well. So if I set a color to be red and background color to be green, again, this is only for the content part, not the whole slide. So this will change the color. You can see it kind of looks weird, but it is what it is. And then you have the content typography. So the typography lets you change typography for the content that appears here. Obviously you can, with the Visivig editor, you can obviously modify the content here itself. You can board italic it and you know, view the source code and add stuff here. But if you do want to add additional typography options, you have all those options here. And then for this as well, you have an option to add a border. You can add a border just as we did for title. But now we also already have a border towards the border, uh, bottom and the top. So this is just going to look duplicate and it's not gonna look that good. So in specific use cases, this will look, uh, this will be a very good case study where you'll be able to use a border and, and make it you know look great and stuff. Then you have the content padding. This is the padding which is applied inside this area. So let me just change it to 25 and you'll see what it impacts. So this would basically increase the size of this bar. So 25 pixels padding from all sides. You can change it to whatever you like and you know unlock it and you can have 10 pixels from top and 25 from all sides. You know, So it'll look a little intended but still good. Item icon options. So this is the, well, there are two things here. First of all is this icon. So you can have the plus and minus icon. You can have an arrow and a down arrow here. You can have this arrow. Now this is for opening and closing the slides, okay? And then you can have this arrow right here. The alignment is where you want the icons. If you select left, this icon will come to the left and you'll notice the YouTube icon will move a little to the right because it always stays with the content. You also have an option to color the icon differently if you want to. So you can select a red color for the icon and then a weird blue color for the background of the icon. And then active icons can have a different one. So they'll have a blue color, but a red background kind of see where this is going. This Again, there, there can be a lot of case studies for this. And once you do get the item you want, this would look much better. I'm, I'm just trying to show options. So this may look weird, you know, just looking at these weird colors and stuff. But this is how much is possible with the accordion. And let's, let's go ahead and create some accordions. And let us know what you did with links in the comments down below. And we may feature them on a website. Thank you for watching.